meeting to order. And we have Chris to do the indication. Father, you uh, teach in your work uh, the importance of leadership, the importance of wisdom, and the importance of investment. And we thank you so much for the people of this county that uh, on a daily basis uh, give their wisdom, their influence, and their time and their talents, uh, God, to uh, make a difference. And so, Lord, we pray that you would continually to lead them, continue to guide them and direct them, continue to have your hand upon them, that we might uh, have a kind of county that would honor and glorify your name. Amen. Today is to name a football coach at Westburn High School. Mr. Garnto and Mr. Clayton have conferred and they have given us the name of Mr. Caden McLean. Mr. McLean is already on our coaching staff at West Arms High School and um, we wish for him to assume the coaching duties of head football coach at West Arms High School. Okay, thank you. Do we have a motion to accept the superintendent's uh, recommendation? I made that motion. We accept Dr. Allicott's recommendation. So. Second by Mr. Stewart. All in favor, aye. 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 So unanimously carries. And do we have any other meet, uh, business before the board today? If not, we stand adjourned. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed an exciting time in Lawrence County, isn't it, Coach? Absolutely. Uh, you know, this is one of those things you never look forward to, but it, uh, I think everything has turned out for the best. Yeah. Here with uh, countywide AD, uh, Jeff Clayton. And Jeff, you know, the news spread last week a little bit that we we're going to have a change, that uh, Coach Noble is going to be moving on. He felt in his heart uh, that, you know, he needed to make a change. So. Right. When he came to you, how did you take that news, if you don't mind sharing with us? Honestly, I was a little devastated, uh, taken aback. Uh, after talking with him, you know, understanding what his point of view was and uh, his desire and, you know, his faith. Yeah. Uh, you know, he's as honest a guy as you'll ever meet. And I'm a personal friend, you know. I coach, been on the staff with him for the six years he was here, yeah. the two years yeah. prior to. And, uh, you know. It upset me, and uh, but I know he's got to do what he thinks is best for him and his family. Right. And uh, we're very fortunate to have Coach Kagan McLean on staff, has been on staff. Uh, I mean, the body of work speaks for itself. It sure does. And uh, I, don't, I don't foresee West Lawrence High School skipping a beat. Mm -hmm. I, I'm glad to hear you say that, Coach. And, you know, coaching is, is a brotherhood. You get so close because you spend so much right. time with those men, and you either get along or you don't get along. And, and you've been on both sides of that. <laughs> and, and you've seen a lot. I, I think you get the uh, coaches hung around the longest award. Uh, you know, you, you really have a bit because people know coaches rent. Coaches usually have a bag packed. Right. You know, they, they just don't know what's coming. But it's been a good, uh, what, four years? Five years that Stacy's been with six. us? This was six. Six years. Awesome. Okay, see, time flies when it you're does. having fun. Absolutely. And, and the program has grown. Uh, our hat's off to Stacy uh, Nobles, and you know everyone wishes him well. I know you do too, Absolutely. Coach. Yeah. Yeah, he's been good for the program. He's brought in good people, and we'll give him credit for bringing in so, Coach McLean as well, go. right? Absolutely. Yeah. So what will change, really, uh, and, and what will be the additions coming up for the staff? Uh, there'll be some, some spots we'll have to fill. Uh, there, I know they're looking for some offensive help. Uh, Coach Respert, who's the offense coordinator, he's looking for a little help on his side of the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've, we've got some people who had, who had stepping away, uh, who are going to be back on board. Uh, and uh, it's going to be exciting. It really is. Uh, you know, as much as we'll miss uh, Coach Nobles, uh, this will be a shot of adrenaline. The kids, you know, they're excited. Yeah, yeah, they are. And, and that's good. And, and, you know, changes come and changes are going to happen for, for our county, for East and West. Uh, and we appreciate you being at the helm and glad you are, Coach. Uh, Thanks so much. To direct it and to make sure the right decisions are made uh, for adults, for the system, but most importantly for kids because we know that's your heart. Absolutely. That's what we want to do is, is do what's right for the children. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with Principal Clifford Garnto from West Lawrence High School and 
uh, I want to call you coach because you're a coach <laughs> at heart. There's no doubt about it, Clifford. Right. And, yeah, I do have a background. Yeah, you do. And and um, you got a coach at heart. You you look at things that way uh, as far as the way you run your school, the way you, you deal with young people. And first of all, hats off to you. We appreciate it. Now, being a principal at West Lawrence for seven years, and you brought Stacy on there pretty quickly. Yeah, you know, we started out, uh, my, you know, my first year we brought in uh, – Another guy, Chad Simmons, and he was there for a year. And you know, then it was a quick, it was a quick turnover. Yeah. And uh, we went out looking, and we had we'd had Stacy before as an assistant, and mm -hmm. so we brought him in as a head coach, and he's done a phenomenal job in building our program yeah. to to something that's respectable right. uh, and, and actually impressive of you know where we've gone over the last six years and. Uh, we've enjoyed the tenure with him and enjoyed the relationships that we've built there with him. And, mm -hmm. you know, God's called him to do to do something different. Mm -hmm. And uh, we felt like uh, bringing Coach McClain in as a head coach would be a good transition. Uh, he's been a vital piece of what we've done at West Lawrence through our weightlifting program and as far as defensive coordinator. And so, you know, we, we really felt like he, he would be the best fit for us and in order to make a smooth transition for our kids. Mm -hmm. Mr. Garanto, uh, it's always hard to hear from a good coach, a good man, a good Christian man on top of that, that has fed into the kids what he's done, a good example, as you point out. It's always hard to hear them, from them that they're going to part ways, that they feel led to leave. Uh, I got to ask you, did you try to talk him out of it? Uh, a matter of fact, I didn't. You know, when you know when he came in and and, and and told me he felt like it was God's will that he, you know, he goes somewhere else. You know, I, I can't argue with that. Yeah. And uh, that's a closer, isn't it? That's right. You know, <laughs> and he and I talked about the, you know, his his future and when you know the things that he he felt like the Lord was leading him to do. And uh, I understand that as a man of faith, I understand that. He, you know, and, and, and if that's where God's leading him, then you know he's. He needs to follow. Yeah. And uh, the positive thing is, though, we're you know we're filling back in with a guy who's a, who's got a strong faith mm -hmm. and uh, who, who already has a relationship with our kids. He's uh, uh, a, a tough guy, you know, yeah. uh, hard nosed, and yeah. expects a lot out of our kids. And mm -hmm. um, you know, he runs his classroom just like any other classroom. If you take a day off. You know, because you, you miss his class, whatever, you know, if you miss squats that day, then you're, you're coming back in and making that up. You know, yeah. it's not take a day off and, you know, you and rest. You, know, you yeah. don't get a day off. Mm -hmm. You come back in, you make up what you missed. Mm -hmm. And which is, you know, you can tell in the playoffs over the last few years, that's been a difference in our program. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the main differences is one of the main pieces. And uh, one, of the, one of the key things of building a program, and, and Nobles recognize this, is that you surround yourself with good people. And you surround yourself with good coaches, and uh, and that's what Nobles has done. Yeah, it's, it's really paid off. People have seen the fruit of that labor. Uh, and, and what a life lesson, Clifford. You know, if you take a day off, if you have to go, and it's not even really a day off, you got to go to a conference or something, you come back, your work's waiting on you. It's not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's and, nobody there to do it for me. No, and, and that's a life lesson for these young people. That's right. If they'll just buy in on it. And so many of them have. Uh, so many of them have. Where do you see the program going? Well, you know, we graduated a great class this past year. Uh, it's it's going to be tough to match up what we've done the last three years with what we graduated, but but that that doesn't mean we can't. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just going to take some more some more work on our part, finding those pieces, you know, to, to fit back in that puzzle for that you know for the offense and defense. A, a major loss on offense with the uh, you know with about two or three maybe four starters coming back. Defense, we lost some major pieces, but we have some good pieces coming back too. Who you know who are who are D one type kids. So. Uh, we uh, we look to still make the playoffs. You know, we we want to make this run and you know another year in the playoffs and see. You know, once you get there, you know things happen. Right. Yeah. We appreciate what you do, Clifford. Thank you so it. much. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be right back. Come in today to Sports Emporium for an expert shoe fitting using our Atrex I-Step foot scanner. Our staff will perform a computerized analysis of your feet and recommend the best shoes for your specific foot type. We carry top name brand performance athletic footwear by Brooks, Asics, Nike, Mizuno, New Balance, and more. Also, we carry the largest selection of Crocs in town a great selection of caps by New Era in the game, and Oakley and Ray-Ban sunglasses. Stop in today at Sports Emporium Ivy Place Shopping Center, Dublin. Proud sponsor of the Leprechaun Road Race. Score big with the Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Catch all the savings throughout the store. Score big with fresh produce, grocery items, dairy products, and don't fumble the handoff. Choose 100% certified Angus beef from Dublin Piggly Wiggly. Taste the difference today. 
Fresh food, friendly service, Piggly Wiggly. All right, now here with the man of the hour, Coach McLean. Congratulations. Yes, thank you so to much. You. Appreciate it. Thank I'm, you. I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Looking forward to it. Yeah. All right, Coach, how long have you been at West Lawrence? Actually? I came with Stacy his first year. Uh, 2011 was my first year there. So I've been here the whole duration. <laughs> uh, Coach, many people will point out that during the course of, of your coaching, mm -hmm. you know, our defense has excelled. We've gone from one or two players in on most tackles to – Gang tackling, so a lot of a lot of blue helmets around the ball all the time. Right, right. Um, is that? I mean, we got to give you the credit. No, for no, no. We've, had, no. we've had a, we've had some really good kids who have who have really come in. And the foundation, everybody thinks about you know defensive coaching. The foundation's really been the weight room. Uh, those kids really get after it in the weight room. They uh, they work their tails off for me. They'll do anything I ask them to do. They're very coachable. And when you get kids like that, it makes my job easy. Uh, but one thing we do stress, and we've always stressed that, is we're going to be strong, we're going to be physical, uh, we're going to be good on defense. We may not always be the fastest team out there, but, uh, but we're going to fly to the football. And if one guy can't get it done, you know, 11 can. So that's kind of our, our mentality with that. But, yeah, I've been very fortunate in that, you know. So. Coach, any time you talk to people who have been around sports, they'll, they'll say anybody who's played football been around a weight program. A mm -hmm. lot of coaches throw the keys to the kid. They open to the door, yeah. and, it's, you know, and they'll walk out. Yeah. You don't coach no, that No, no, I can't do that. Uh, yeah. I, I, we, we try and do things where everything is regimented, everything's on the whistle, and I'm not saying that's the best way. Uh, this is just the way that I've always done it, and this worked for me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we're going to make sure they're getting their reps at the right way together as a team. You know, and if, if one of them's getting behind, we're all going to – going to get on his tail and, and hold up and make him catch up with us, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, but that, that's kind of the mentality I think you have to have in that weight room. But, yeah. again, there's other – there's a lot of ways to skin a cat, and I don't want to, want to say that, that mine's the perfect way. Mm -hmm. But it's what's worked for me, mm -hmm. and, and I would prefer – I'm not the kind of guy that can just sit – I'd rather be doing something mm -hmm. than doing nothing, yeah. you know? And you're building that teamwork Absolutely. at the same time. Absolutely. And, and right. that regiment, that mm -hmm. helps to build that teamwork and that discipline Absolutely. that you got to have is going to transfer on the field. That's right. But that's more right. importantly, Coach, you're watching those kids do the lift. If you're making mm -hmm. sure that oh, yeah. if a kid doesn't have the proper technique, right. first of all, he's going to get injured eventually. He's yes, going to hurt himself, right. and right. he's not going to get the maximum results out of it. Mm -hmm. But you got enough kids in this program that you pair them up, you help them if, oh, yeah. if you yeah. don't put hands on them yourself. So to That's speak. right. That's right. We have to because, you know, it used to be in the, you know, the good old days you could put five or six football coaches in the weight room at one time. But, you know, things have changed, and, uh, you know, teaching slots are hard to come by and coaching yeah. slots. So, you know, for the last – Six years, I've been the only one in there. So when it's me and it's 40 football players, you got to make sure that we're regimented and we're doing things together because you know how kids are. We yeah. were kids once, and yeah. some of them are going to try and cheat and miss mm -hmm. a rep or mm -hmm. cheat on a weight. And when you get them holding each other accountable, you know, that's when, when you have success. I mean, you, yeah. good, good teams or we're, we're coaches – hold kids accountable, great teams or where players hold each other accountable. And that's kind of the, the, the culture we're trying to continue, which we've changed. And I give Stacy Nobles a lot of credit for that now. He's done a great job and, and letting me be a part of that's a big deal. But, uh, but we've really changed that culture with those kids, and they expect to win. Mm -hmm. and, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know how good we'll be next year. We, you know, we graduated 16 starters. So there's some work that needs to be done. But we have a, a good group of young kids that have worked hard in that weight room, and I think they're going to step up and fill some roles. And the few leaders we have coming back, I think, will really, really have to step up and, and, and show us the way. And I have confidence they'll do that. I really do. Coach, you know, people will point out fans, people that follow the game, not only Raider fans, but mm -hmm. fans all over the community say, right. you put a, a good team on defense. You put players there. Mm -hmm. You put them in the right position to make plays. Mm -hmm. Of course, that goes back to breaking down film. Right. You know, and everybody has access to film these days. Mm -hmm. That's not the only key. Mm -hmm. you, you gotta have an intelligence about the game oh, yeah. To, yeah. to stop an offense, to, to figure right. out or to make that right call, to make that guess sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, sometimes Educated. that's what it is. Yes, sometimes, yeah. it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. But, uh, but yeah, we, we really try, and, and I don't want to say this in a negative sense, but you know, we've got great kids, but sometimes we can be limited athletically. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we really have to focus on putting them in the best possible position to make yeah. plays. Yeah. And, and I feel like if we do that and if we teach our kids you know, what to do and then and teach them how to do it fast and turn them loose, you know, they'll get it done. But, uh, but yeah, we, we do have to spend some time with personnel and, and getting them in the right spots and making sure that, you know, defense isn't a, 
it's not one of those things where, where you have one great player and, and he can really turn the tide necessarily. You know, yeah. offense, you got that great running back or that great receiver. Sometimes they can take over a game. Mm -hmm. Defense has got to be a team mentality. And so you got to have all 11 components working together, in, you know, in unison. And it, getting some of them to understand, look, you may not be making the tackle on this play. Yeah. But if you're blowing up this block and making things bounce and someone else is making the tackle, we win. Mm -hmm. And that's the mentality we've yeah. we, you know, got to get in on that. Well, coach with you, I'm going to say expertise in, in, <laughs> in coaching defense, really. <laughs> Uh, because of the success we've had, he kept us in every game, it seems like. And over the years, if you do it year after year after year after year, people won't pay attention to it. Yeah. Right. Now, that brings us to our next question that the community wants to know, Raider mm -hmm. fans want to know, are you going to continue to focus on defense? Are you going to... Are you going to take over all aspects of the game? What's right. your philosophy on that, please? I, this year, at least, is I'm going to stay defensive coordinator. I'm going to probably uh, name an assistant in title as coordinator to help with some of the uh, the data breakdown and, and some of the busier parts of it that I may not be able to do as a head coach. But um, but I'm I'm still going to run the defense. I still want to focus on on putting the the best team we can on the defensive side of the football. Uh, we, we, at the same time, though, you know, you got to score points to win. So, you know, I'm, I'm definitely – I think we've got a good offensive coordinator. He's going to stay on and run the offense again next year. Mm -hmm. uh, coach Resper, he does a great job. Uh, and, and, and I like the things that he's doing over there. And, uh, and, and you know, we're going to keep doing those. But, but I do want to – you know, our, our biggest our, – our foundational philosophy is we're going to be strong. We're going to play together as a team, and we're going to be good on defense. And, and I'd like to keep doing that if possible. Now, you know, we returned four starters off a pretty good defense last year. So I hope you'll continue to think I'm an expert after this <laughs> next season. But, uh, but we'll see. Well, we'll Coach, see. Uh, as we go through the season, I notice things. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I say this with all due respect, but I, I notice things on the field like we play in Jefferson. Right. And they got kids out there, seven or eight, that are going yeah. both ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is yeah. that something you're open to do, oh, or are you two yeah. platoon and no, that's the only no, way to I, go? I, I, you put the best 11 on the field on both sides of the ball. Now, I think there's certain positions you have to be smart with. Mm -hmm. You know, big an offensive lineman playing defensive line, you know, you got to be a little smarter about that. But a kid playing back in the secondary, playing receiver, mm -hmm. absolutely. I mean, I want the best 11 on the field. Yeah. And uh, I'm not, I'm not a, a big – I don't – we have you know, people always say, man, you got a hundred kids out there at West Lawrence, but just because you got a hundred on the team doesn't mean you got a you know a hundred that can really get out there and play the game. So mm -hmm. uh, we got some young kids that are working and getting better, but I'm, I'm gonna put the best eleven on defense and the best eleven on offense. And if they're playing both ways, then it's time to get in shape this summer and suck yeah. it up and get it done. Yeah, you know? yeah. So it takes a lot of heart. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. and a lot of discipline. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, no and, doubt. And you hear all the time in football, you cannot take a play off. No, you can't. You really can't because you know it, it, you take one play off, and you know that's a sixty-yard touchdown. Yeah. You know, so you gotta. Yeah. You gotta play hard every play, and I think that's a mentality that you gotta instill in your kids. And again, we try to instill most of that in the weight room. You know, once you if you have to instill, uh, you know, personal responsibility and accountability and hard work and mental toughness and physical toughness, if you're having to wait and do that on the practice field, I think you're you're too late. I think it's got to happen in the weight room. So when you get on the practice field, you clean that stuff up and you, you've, you've uh, further encouraged that. You know? what's, what's your greatest goal this year? Uh, I, you know, people always say, well, you know, what do you want to accomplish this year? And, and overall, I want to continue the success we've had the last three years. Our kids that we've got now, uh, they don't know losing. You know, they've always won since we've been here. Mm -hmm. um, I want to continue that. But ultimately, any coach, and, and I know it comes down to wins and losses. You lose enough games, you get fired. I get that. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, when I look back on my life, I want to say that I, I was a positive impactor on these kids' lives. If I can help them, you know, like I said to, to the other guy, if I can help them be better students and better athletes, better young men, and ultimately, you know, later on down the road, better husbands and fathers, then I, then I think that's successful. And, and I don't just mean that as a cliché. But, uh, but, you know, you can win all the state championships you want, but if you're not teaching kids how to be men, what does that matter eternally? You know, and, and I want to I wanna help these guys to, to be better young men and, and to grow up and, and be, be better husbands and fathers, like we said. And, mm -hmm. and I think if you do things the right way, God's going to bless you and, and you're going to win. You know, and, and if you don't, then I know he's got a plan, and, and, and we're going to work our, our, our tails off as coaches, as players. Uh, we're going to do everything we can do to get better and, and do things the right way and I'll let the wins and losses kind of – you just see how that goes, you yeah. know. Coach, you know, everybody's different. Right. Every, yeah. every yeah. kid's different. Absolutely. You and I are different. Mm -hmm. People approach life differently. Uh, one thing we like to all have in common, and we pray that we do, is that we're all Christians. We all have a, a Christian yes, heart. We Absolutely. believe in Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so proud that, 
that your pastor was here today. Mm, Chris yes. Dixon is just a phenomenal pastor. Yes, sir. Yeah, I love him dearly. Me too. Me too. Um, and and so that that speaks to to your faith. Mm -hmm. uh, but in saying that, that all of us are different, I'm, I'm setting this up because you're the kind of coach that I like to see. You uh, are a tough guy. Mm, try you to expect be. the kid to be tough. Right. If right. he's not tough, if mm -hmm. he doesn't have guts mm -hmm. uh, and heart, mm -hmm. hopefully, then. Right. You know, he's just out there. He's right. a body, and sometimes Absolutely. you need bodies. But mm -hmm. is, uh, you know, is that something that you can bring out of a kid? Yeah, I think you. I think you can. I mean, people always. I think that everybody wants to succeed on the inside, and 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 you know, you talk about toughness, and and the reason it's not just about football when you're trying to get a kid to be tough. But let's face it, life's tough. That's right. You know, you go out there, and 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 the kids. You know, sometimes we. We, we talk about, like, I think it was the basketball coach at South Carolina that had that, that great quote that talked about, you know, people saying kids have changed. Kids haven't changed. We've changed. And we've gotten softer on them. And I don't mean that in a negative sense. But, I mean, you know, when you get out in the real world, life is tough on you. You know, you, no one's going to coddle you or baby you or hold your hand through life. You've got to step up and you've got to have that, that mental toughness and that fortitude on the inside that you're going to do what's right and you're going to do what needs to be done for yourself and for others. I mean, when these guys grow up, one day hopefully they'll all have families. And as a man, you know, I tell them in the weight room all the time, as a man, you can't do what you feel like doing all the time. you got to do what you have to do, right? Because, I mean, if I, right. if I wake up and I don't feel like going to work, then I lose my job and my family suffers. Mm -hmm. And when other people's lives depend on you, it's time to man up and do what's right. You know, and, and that's the thing. To me, that's toughness. Toughness, if you want to sum up toughness in, in a single phrase, is doing what you have to do rather than what you feel like doing. Because there's lots of times I don't feel like doing things, but I have to do them. And so you step up and you're doing that's toughness. And, and on defense, if you're outmanned or you're outmatched or offense too, you know, but you can dig a little deeper and say it's my job to make this play. Right. And I can step up and do it no matter what I feel like, no matter what it costs me physically. Right. If I can get that done, then, then we can be successful. And, yeah. and just like a family depends on a, on a breadwinner, then, you know, teammates depend on each other. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a big deal for us and yeah. one of the things we try to push, you know. Yeah. Uh, community, we're asking you to support Coach McLean Absolutely. in his efforts going forward, just as you have uh, in the past, maybe even more so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I know you're going to be reaching out to people throughout the community, but right. don't wait for a phone call or a handshake. Come on and get in, in touch with the program now and be a part of, of Raider football. We wish all our athletics throughout the community the very best. We really do. Building in young men's lives, but Absolutely. right now we, we congratulate you, Coach Thank McLean. You. Thank you so we much. We wish you the very best of success. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.